Hey everybody, welcome back to The Stuff of Legend. My name is D'Lo and I have another video for you guys. We're going to be talking about DCEU fan casting Bruce Wayne from the Matt Reeves The Batman movie, which is going to be Noir inspired. And to celebrate that, I am going to be doing this video in black and white. So now the, the images I'm going to be showing you off of Google are not going to be in black and white, but I will. So let's take a look. So for the Batman, it's supposed to come out June 25th, 2021. And uh, I know that it says here that it's cast as Ben Affleck, but that's old information. Um, as well as it saying uh, that the producer is Ben Affleck and that the screenplay is by Ben Affleck. That's not true. Um, it was true at one point in time, but it has since been confirmed that those are no longer going to be the case for the film as Matt Reeves will be writing, he will be directing, and someone else will be cast as Batman for this film. Ben Affleck has recently stepped down, so in light of that, we are fan casting someone to play the Matt Reeves Batman. Since he's decided to go much younger with the, the person who's playing Batman, we have no choice but to recast uh, Ben Affleck's Batman for someone who can play something between 25 and 35. He doesn't necessarily have to be 25 to 35, but should be convincingly within that realm. First up on my list is Matt Lanter. Matt Lanter is 35 years old, 5 foot 10. You guys probably know him from Timeless or Star Wars The Clone Wars where he played Anakin Skywalker. But let's just take a look. There's not a lot of fan art, but there is a couple, like this is a side-by-side -side comparison here. So you can see, um, this is him much younger. Right here, he's actually, this is more or less what he looks like right now. A um, little bit younger than, than where he is now. But he's got, he's got a very neutral looking face, very solid, strong, kind of a Ben Affleck type jaw. And, um, but he's very like clean looking. And when he dresses up, he does look like he could play a very convincing Bruce Wayne. Although I would want him to dye his hair a little bit darker. This guy's a really good actor. I really enjoy him in Timeless where he plays kind of like a cop that is part of the time traveling team. I would love to see him play Batman as a younger man. So Matt Lanter, the first option, 5'10", 35 years old. Let's go to the next one. Next up, we have Nicholas Holt, 29 years old. He is six foot three, so a pretty tall guy. He was cast to play Beast in X-Men Apocalypse, X-Men Dark Phoenix, X-Men First Class, X-Men Days of Future Past, which is arguably the best one of the bunch. But I wanted to show you guys some of these images here. So there's only a couple of images here, like a side-by-side -side comparison. This one's not really a, a good one. They just overlaid him with the comic. Images like this show him, they make him seem like kind of a younger uh, Bruce Wayne that's still not so jaded. So check this out. This one right here makes him look very much like he could play a young Bruce Wayne, especially because, you know, he's all done up with the bow tie and everything. I think those are really, really nice images to kind of give you that feel of what he might look like. So even though it's not much to go off of, certainly not a lot of fan art of him as Batman, but him as Bruce Wayne, I think would work very nicely. So uh, he's my second choice. Again, Nicholas Holt is six foot three and 29 years old. So let's go to the next option. Next up on the list is Aaron Taylor Johnson, 28 years old, five foot 11. You know him from Kick-Ass, you know him from Avengers Age of Ultron, Godzilla 2014. This guy is a really, really talented actor and he does look quite a bit like the part. So if we go here, let's take a look. There's a lot of a lot of images of him, like here's him next to a um, Arkham, Arkham Knight version of Batman. Um, this one looks very, very nice, like him as Bruce Wayne could work. He always seems to have facial hair in his personal life, but I think if you were to take that away, if you were to shave it off, he would look very clean and he would be able to clean up very, very nicely. That's a very good image of him right there. This is really cool. I like, I like seeing this cause like, you know, his hair is done up nice. He's got a very strong like build, forehead, chin, um, not, not super, super uh, chiseled, but he is fit. And he does have a very similar mouth other than the chin here. Um, I think uh, he's got a very similar look to Ben Affleck from the nose down. I think that would be um, something that would help lend itself to him feeling like Ben Affleck. 5'11 is a pretty good stature and he looks like a big dude. So his his proportions of shoulder, shoulder width and everything, um, he looks like he would be a bigger dude. So he's my third option. Aaron Taylor Johnson, five foot 11, 28 years old. Next up, we have a slightly older pick. You guys know him as Tommy Merlin from Arrow, but his name is Colin Donnell. He's 36 years old. 
and five foot ten. He's also in Chicago Med. Here's some images of him on the set of Arrow, uh, right next to what is Wild Dog and what I believe to be Mr. Terrific. He looks really good in the suit. He's got the Batman mouth for sure. This guy, he looks the part. He looks definitely like he could play Bruce Wayne for sure. To me, he is he is the best looking, like most Batman visually, of all these options on the table for me today. But I think that he is a little bit old to play someone that is between 25 and 35. He, he could play someone that is in his 30s. I mean, he's obviously still in his 30s. Colin Donnell is 36 years old, one year older than the maximum age range we want for this character. But I think he could still play someone who is younger, even though he's a little bit older. He could convince me, especially in images like this, that he is 29. I mean, you could you could make that argument that he's probably about 29, even though, you know, as soon as you start getting some stubble or facial hair, he does definitely look like he's in his 30s. Uh, if you keep him clean, clean shaven, I think it would be really easy to convince the audience that he is around 25 to 29 years old. Again, this is Colin Donnell, 5'10", 36 years old. Next up on the list, we have Liam Hemsworth, who is 29 years old and 6'3". Again, very good height. Uh, 29 years old is right in the pocket of where we want him age-wise. You guys know him from The Hunger Games, Isn't It Romantic, The Last Song. A lot of people have been casting him for superhero roles. People want him to play Superman. People want him to play the Batman. But take a look at this. If you shave his face, and I mean like this is not even shaved. If you completely shave his face, like baby skin smooth, and you just dye his hair a little bit darker, he would be a great, great choice for Batman. And he's right in the right age, the right size, and he could bulk up no problem. I mean, him and his brother have really solid frames. I think Chris Hemsworth has had to maximize that to play Thor. But nevertheless, I think that Liam would certainly be a great choice to play a younger Batman. And he sure would look dapper as Bruce Wayne. Take a look at this image right here. Don't tell me that would look like a grand old Bruce Wayne. That guy looks slick. That would be really, really cool. So let me know what you guys think about my, my top five list between Matt Lanter, Nicholas Holt, Aaron Taylor Johnson, Colin Donnell, and Liam Hemsworth. Um, they're my top five. And I have a few other choices for you guys that are a little bit outside the ballpark, a little bit outside of the realm of what I was hoping for for Batman, but still close and still worth mentioning. So I've got three honorable mentions for you guys. Let's take a look at those. First on the bonus pick list is Ben Barnes who is 37 years old, a little bit above the age range of where I'm, I'm aiming for to play a younger Batman. But nevertheless, he's six foot one, good stature. You guys know him from the Chronicles of Narnia, Dolan Gray, Westworld, Seventh Son, and most notably, the Punisher as Jigsaw. I wanted to show you guys some of these images. So obviously there's a lot of side-by-side -side comparisons of him as Jigsaw from the Punisher but then also showing him side by side with Batman saying he would be a good choice. A lot of people have seen this. He looks like he would play a really slick Bruce Wayne, very kind of slender, more lean along the lines of what Christian Bale kind of looked like. If I'm not mistaken, I thought that this was a boss logic image, but I could be wrong. I'm not 100% sure who did this one, but nevertheless, it looks really, really cool. So Ben Barnes would do a really good job playing Batman. He's got that really refined chin, which is something that would be very helpful for whoever's gonna play Batman. It makes you feel much more rugged if you have that, that cleft in your chin. Ben Barnes as Bruce Wayne would be phenomenal. So I think he would be a good choice. He's a little bit older, but nevertheless, I think also just a really solid option. Next up on the list, we have Robert Pattinson, who is 32 years old and six foot one. Again, good stature, same as uh, Ben Barnes, but also 32 years old puts him within the ballpark of the age range we want here. Now, uh, he's from, you know, you know, from Twilight. He's in Remember Me, High Life, Good Time, uh, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. He's in a lot of things. He's got a huge resume, much bigger than just what he did on Twilight. Now, a lot of his films are indie. A lot of people haven't seen his work. That's okay. If all you know him from is Twilight, you're probably going to hate the guy because you hate Twilight. Even if you do hate him for his work in Twilight, check out some of his other work before you ca you cast him to the wolves. He is a good actor. I think he would be a good choice. Uh, he's in my bonus pick list because I like the other guys better. So you might feel like me, like he's not your first string. But let's just take a look anyway. So some of these images of him as Batman look pretty cool. This is him more or less as Bruce Wayne. This, is, this one is a boss logic art, I believe. This one here, really cool uh, side by side. 
This one's really awesome because it is black and white and it, it's gonna be Neuer inspired. It's not gonna be necessarily a Noir film. It could be, but the inspiration for uh, Matt Reeves the Batman is a Neuer setting. That's what I hope it'll be. I hope they do make it Neuer. That'd be really, really cool. But nevertheless, take a look at this. This is some really good art right here. Whoever did this, props to you. I think it's Toll Road. Uh, or Towler, Towler Road or something like that. It looks really, really good. I like that art. This guy's got a crazy looking jaw. And look at this. That's intense. That looks really good. So uh, say what you will about him in Twilight. I don't care. Um, I didn't even see Twilight. I've, I've seen a couple of his other like more chick flicky things because I'm a husband <laughs> and that's what you got to do. Robert Pattinson, again, six foot one, 32 years old. Now I had another outside the box choice. I actually know this guy and I think he would be really good in the role. If you've seen the recent YouTube TV show called Weird City, but check it out. This is David Marietta Jr. So he is someone I have known for several years. You can find him on SWAT. Uh, you can find, see there he is right there. You can find him here. He plays a lot of either police, uh, Marines, military guys. Um, he does a lot of action shots and stuff. Dude's jacked. And uh, he's very, he's up and coming. If you guys haven't heard of him yet, this is an opportunity for you to check out maybe some of his work. I like to support some people that are on their way up the ladder. He's worked with a lot of big names, especially on this new project, Weird City. David Marietta's filmography is Skylar, which is in pre-production, Underdog, which is coming out uh, this year, Weird City, which is this year, Terry's Women, View From Below, Angelic's Ascension, it's a promo, uh, but that, that was one that he was a co-producer on as well. This guy is up and coming talent. Again, he was on SWAT. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing more of this guy, but he also has the build. And um, so let me see if I could find this. This I wanted to show you guys, the Weird City full cast and crew. If you go a little bit down the line, there he is. So he's right here. He's in one episode and the way that the TV show works is that most of the cast is just getting cycled um, at each episode. There's very few people that are recurring, but nevertheless, he's in there with people like Michael Sarah, Rosario Dawson, Matt Walsh, uh, Aquafina, Mark Hamill. Dylan O'Brien. So I just wanted to point that out. This guy is a great actor, great guy. He's up and coming, so I wanted to give him a chance to be recognized a little bit. And if you guys think that he looks like he could play Batman, let me know. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to give this video a like by clicking the thumbs up button. Also hit the subscribe button uh, if you haven't already and turn on notifications so you can be alerted right away when I go live next time. That way you guys won't miss a thing. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend. Hey guys, D-Lo here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember to share this video with all of your nerd friends. I know you got them, and you know who they are. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this discussion. Let me know what you would like to see me do a video on next. Subscribe to the channel because you're a legend, and we have that in common. Also be sure to turn on notifications to be notified right away when I upload my next video, or so that you can be alerted when I go live next time. That way you'll never miss a thing. Check out the other videos on the channel so that we can have a discussion on all your favorite movies and TV topics. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.